Welcome friends. In this video, I'm going to describe the circuit building and programming of an Arduino standard servo circuit using Tinkercad.com. So let's get started. All right. If you remember nothing else from this video, take a look at the tool tip that I have put right here in the middle that describes servo wiring. So I've color coded for your convenience and my convenience. Remember, the circuit doesn't care, but we care about wiring colors because it makes it easier. When I talk about the different colors, what I'm going to be talking about is these colors that are right here. So if you look closely, you can see there is a red wire, a white wire, and a black wire. Some servo companies like to mix it up and keep it fresh, and the white wire might be yellow instead. And I've noticed that the red wire can sometimes be a like an orange, and the black could be a brown. Yay, confusion. No harm if you wire things up and if it doesn't work, but typically the darker is going to be the black, the lighter, like the yellow, would be the white one that's here. Luckily in Tinkercad, it's super consistent. So we know exactly what we're going to get. And what we're going to get are those three wire colors. You don't need a resistor for this servo. So that's a bonus right there. One less thing to plug in. So let's trace it and take a look and see what we get. All right. So what we've got going on here is hide that for us. Um, I started with the ground wire and ran that all the way to the top, as is our standard, and then connected a black wire down here, and it connects to the black wire for the servo. Awesome. Then our program is going to use pin two, so yellow wire over to the breadboard, and then yellow wire over to connect with the white wire. We like to use yellow as our indicator of uh, data being transferred, right? Now, you might be looking at this and you're saying, well, hey, Milstead, couldn't we just run a wire right from pin two over here? We could, but when we get around to building this on a real breadboard, it is a lot easier to work with if you don't have just one jiggly wire going all the way over. And then the last thing we have to do, we need to give this servo some power. So I ran a five volt over to the bottom rail or row. And then I borrowed some of that five volt and ran it over to go with red to meet up with red for the servo. And that is your circuit. Now you'll notice I left a lot of the breadboard space blank. Well, that's because you may want to add more cool things here. Two or three more servos, lights, a buzzer, a button. And in other videos, we'll be getting around to those as well. So give yourself some space to add cool components and features later on. All right, now let's jump into the code. So here is the glorious code. Um, if you're doing this assignment for my class, please put your name as a comment in the top line. A double slash gives you a comment and the computer ignores it. But kicking off the program on line three, you have to have this information here to start your servo working. Hashtag include servo.h tells the program to access something called a servo library and saves you a ton of time. That way you don't have to write all these individual servo commands. The library tells the Arduino what to do. Next line, number four servo space servo one with our friend the semicolon at the end is giving a variable name to your servo you could name it apple you could name it truck it doesn't care but let's call it servo one because it's a servo and it's our first servo yay all right next up the setup function remember there's only one setup function that we're going to use in all of our programs at this point so the setup function is simply telling this Arduino that we're attaching the servo to pin to, just like it says in the comment. How about that? That's all we have for setup. 
the loop is controlling what happens in the program itself and also has some handy comments. So we start off servo one dot write zero is going to sweep that servo arm all the way over to the left to zero degrees. Then after a two second delay, 2000 milliseconds, it's going to write 90 and it's gonna sweep it so it is halfway through its arc, if you can imagine it being like a half circle. And then it's gonna stop in the middle of the sweep. We've got a two second delay. And then servo one dot right 180 is going to sweep it all the way back to the right. And then wait two seconds. And because this is a loop and there's nothing to interrupt it, it's just going to go right on back and do it again. And for this assignment, that's all I want, friends. So let's see if it works. Here we go. Coming up on our first sweep. Second. And then all the way back. And then it does it again. And it will keep doing this until we click stop simulation. Or if it's a real Arduino, you unplug it. Because this program doesn't have anything to interrupt it. We'll be adding more in future videos. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, or you can email me rmilstead at tamdistrict.org. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, be sure to click like and subscribe.